Hello, hello, everybody. We are back again to continue our Pokemon Platinum Adventures. Last time, we ba -ba -ba, beat the Ice Gym. We went all the way to Lake Acuity, needed to, needed to beat a gym to be able to rock climb. We can't just run up to the gym leader and be like, hey, Candice, can you just make an exception? I need to be able to go stop some criminals. So it's just like, that was fun. And we went and invaded Team Galactic's base. Cyrus is insane. He let us free the three Pokemon of the lakes, and now we've got to climb Mount Coronet to stop them. And apparently, the fastest way to get through it is to begin at Ouroburg. <laughs> Hello, Neon. I'm just using Twitch because the Wi-Fi in this holiday place isn't exactly allowing the message on YouTube. That's weird. Then again, YouTube is weird. But it doesn't matter either way. I try to pay attention to both chats. But let me quickly check my team, make sure it's all good. I forgot to do grinding. Oh well, hopefully my hopefully I'll be able to use type advantages to survive. It's been like five billion years since I've climbed Mount Coronet and I have like no idea of which where is what, so. Yep, Silas can be in front. Until they throw evil bastards at me. I have no idea which way leads up. I am but a fool. Then again, I also forgot that <laughs> this place is low level. Hmm. But it does have e extra sensory. We'll just run away and put somebody else in front. How dare you, Pokemon Platinum? How dare you make it so that the evils of the world... Hmm, I don't even know. I guess uh, the boy. The boy can go in front. You have to take surf paths. I just, I don't know. I want to check out this one, and then probably up top is where it actually needs to go. But item. A Dawnstone. I'm probably never going <laughs> to, never going to do it. I wanted to also rename my PMD team, uh, Mate to Forgotten Ashes, but it's too long. I wonder what the name limit for Mystery Dungeon is, or like letter limit. Because... If I remember correctly, there's actually a glitch where if a certain Pokemon... Oh, no, no. It's like, if a Pokemon is named a ten-letter name, I think, in Rescue Team, like, there's a danger of, like, super crashing. And it's funny because it doesn't happen if it's, like, Charmander that's naturally named. A natural Charmander... Like, it won't get affected unless, like, a, a certain situation. Yeah, Curly, I can become Gallade. But I went with God of War. Man, it would have taken me forever to <laughs> get a, a Gallade if I wanted one. Or did I get a Dawnstone from one of the Reggie rooms? I forget. Well, Rebirth Dashes is a reference to the fact of the player being Chimchar, not a human. Eh. Meditite, will you please die? <laughs> but Lost Ember is the name now. It's a good name. <laughs> All of those feel like they would be the names of, like, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan comic. I took two steps, game! I wasn't even running! But it is a Geodude. Who shall die? <laughs> it hits the character limit, that name does. Amusing. Get blasted by the Poseidon Penguin. I almost said Poseidon Empoleon, but that doesn't make sense because he is just an Empoleon. And all Empoleon are kind of Poseidon Trident dudes. I wonder... Does this imply that, like, Cyrus either illegally uses HMs, or did Cyrus go through the gym league to get all the badges needed to use HMs? To then be able to go 
Ah, I can rock climb my way to up Mount Coronet now. Climbing Mount Coronet indeed. Hopefully I'm not too low level. And we can beat Cyrus's ass. I was wondering why, I was just like, why is the rock area shaped like that? Is it because I'm not meant to push the rock all the way, or what? And through the power of one rock climb, everything has raised in level. At least I have, like, a decent few randomly picked up elixirs I can use before... Any, like, trainer fights, hopefully. And, like, a part of me says use repels, but I do want to get into fights. Oh, hey, a Metacham. Metacham is a cool Pokemon, I think. Then again, that could also be my Mystery Dungeon bias showing through. How dare you survive! Get blasted. <laughs> Maybe he collected the gym badges when he was younger? That's what I think. He is 27. <laughs> There's an exit. will blast you. Like I said, we should have some elixirs I can use. Oh, hey, you're using Psych Up like that one guy did. Also, I just realized there's a decent few, like, rock climb areas that I didn't go up yet that had trainers and stuff. That could have been decent leveling. I'll try to get to them after uh, after we beat Cyrus, probably, but I want to see what's up here. Is this the way we're supposed to go? No, this is... Then again, there's a rock climb thing right here. I am interested. Rock climb down. <laughs> An iron! Now I can iron my diddly day. Wait, Cyrus is 27 with that face? That's what Looker said. And if Looker's a Looker, then he knows all. Also, funny thing, I had four Reviver Seeds used up and survived an Earthquake in PMD on 1 HP. Wow, 137 damage. I'm not low level, I'm level 50, which is like, still. Like, 138 HP is still decently high for level 50, I think. It's like a roundabout. <laughs> Only 27, he looks like he's in his 50s. That's what is trying to destroy the universe does to a person. When you're just so depressed by the universe being imperfect that you're just perpetually stressed. This is what stress does to a man. He creates a terrorist cult that he's going to betray. Remember, everybody, as you roast like a renowned terrorist leader, remember to stay hydrated. But the more that I just exist online, the more I'm reminded of games that I want to stream someday. Like, Nier Automata. I need to play Nier Automata. I think I streamed one or two streams of it, like, two years ago, but then Brain did its thing and bleh. Maybe now that I actually have a schedule, I'd get through it better. Why is there just destroyed things up there? And hey, a Max Revive, that's nice. That implies that there used to be something uh, blocking the way, but he destroyed it. But yes, remember, hydration is important. <laughs> Looker jump scare. He looks into your soul. <laughs> Talk about Looker jump scare! 
Observe, if you will, that hole. There was once a cave painting that had blocked the way to the summit. But the wall, it is no longer there. It lies in pieces, do you see? Ever since the three Pokémon of the lakes have been captured, something terrible is happening. But what exactly, I do not know. There is but one cause. Team Galactic Cyrus. Eh, you broke, you broke your streak. It's supposed to be the Team Galactic Cyrus. And now we are all cut up. Now, to the next step. Are you trainer enough to advance? Show me, if you will. Ha ha ha! You can relax now. You see, I understand. You are far superior to me. As are the commanders, Cyrus too, naturally. Team Galactic is beyond my reach. Please, you must stop them. For only you are able. All I can do now is give you this. It is a little something I obtained in an investigation long ago. The Black Flute? I have a White Flute, I think. Please, you must stop the Team Galactic. I can't believe that Cyrus incurred the wrath of Cynthia. She's gonna come up here and gut him. Gut him alive. <laughs> She's just gonna run up. You destroyed priceless antiquity! We don't- we won't even need a legendary. <laughs> Cynthia's rage will be legendary enough. Her Garchomp, gonna evolve into a Rayquaza. And just pick up a continent and hit him with it. <laughs> Black Flute and White Flute. Hmm, sounds like a hit. I should also look at it, actually. Because I know that I have a white flute that's like, hey, I think makes Pokemon come to me. Yeah. Uh, its melody makes wild Pokemon more likely to appear. Meanwhile, all the way down here... Makes wild Pokemon less likely to appear. Hmm. <laughs> Piano intensifies. Cyrus, as he's trying to chain up the legendaries. Why do I hear boss music? Volo just sitting in the ghost realm is just like, <laughs> I'm going to enjoy watching you die. My piano lives on. <laughs> if I don't get to recreate the world, then no one will. Psych up all you want, you're still gonna die. Get blasted, idiot. Uh, are you just stream on YouTube? No, I stream on both YouTube and Twitch. But the black and white flute and black and white were the next games. That could also be a thing. Still feels like it should be, like... Well, that's horrifying. But, like, a part of me wonders, because, like, of course it is a reference. But I wonder how many people actually thought, hmm, <laughs> these flutes are important. They're totally gonna name the next games after these colors. Get brined on. You fool. <laughs> I swear that piano has makes a fight or flight reaction in my head, but the more you cannot run from a trainer battle. <laughs> this champion is going to kill you now. I feel like I should save. Just cause. Oh, hey, a Team Galactic grunt. Who shall we throw in the front? Well, I guess he you, Silas. Let's get some punching done. We grunts have two jobs. One, ensure the success of our operation at the summit. Two, utterly destroy any intruders to stop their meddling. Shades, black and white are shades, not colors. I'm fairly certain they're colors. I don't really bother with all the uber specific shenaniganery of like technicalities. Corn is a fruit. It bothers not. I'm certain that like within the realm of like ooh shades and colors, black and white are shades, but like come on, they're also colors. 
To say they're not colors is just to be pedantic. And of course, it's the big old psychic steel man. Psychic steel man. We must obliterate him. That's what you get for trying to extra sensory, my dear fighting type. How dare you? We must drown this bell. Get obliterated. You know, Lancelot gets hit so, like, not often that I continually forget that he heals when he hits people. Well, as you watch your Empoleon heal, remember to stay hydrated. I, w I wonder how, like, I'm, I'm wondering how to word this. Like, I wonder how good it would be to, like, drink water that a water type, like, hydro pumps or water guns. I don't know. It, it seems like a weird idea, but at the same time, survival. Our time has come. It's Team Galactic's time now. And what one Pokemon are you going to throw at me? Hmm. You're a, I believe you're a flying dark type. Which means that you're super effective to the fighting type part of Silas. But I wonder how the flying and the dark interact. Does it just come out to be normal? I, I want to know. Let's do some science. Bill Nye the science guy. Yeah, it just cancels out. Interesting. Every time I play a new Pokemon game because I use the same name, a meeting with all of them would be funny. <laughs> That's me with my naming convention of using Neon. It's just like, ah, Neon meets Neon. <laughs> it turns into that Spider-Man meme. Aura Sphere! Get blasted, idiot. Ba -ba -ba. All right, interesting twingy twangy music. Also interesting that you can just choose to avoid the grass. This is some music. I like it. Meanwhile, I could I I avoided any random fights any there in there anyway, but I wanna fight one. Ah, just Snover. An evil bastard who must die. You will do well to level up Silas. You cross-eyed little bitch. Horosphere. Get obliterated! Huzzah. Now let's move things around. Let's see. I believe. Oh yeah, I also should give iron to somebody. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna give iron to Shine so that he can be even tankier. Become a super tank. This is some funky music, I like it. This is some good music. Like, I hardly comment on the music in this game so far, but this is good. I'm just wondering, it's like, what is the purpose of any of this? Is this just a place to wander around, fight some wild Pokemon? A blue shard. Man, I can't wait to get Mega Evolution so my Lucario can rise again. Yeah, getting to, like, 
Hmm, there's two here. There's like multiple ways. I have no idea which way is the right way to go. Another galactic peon. Well, I want to see, because it was a rock climb path and a cave. But yeah. For me, I can't wait to get to, like, play Generation 6, and I can't wait for Legend ZA. I really do wonder, like... <laughs> we know so little about ZA that it'll be so interesting like, the next time that, like, a teaser or a trailer drops and we get any information. But a part of me kind of hopes that no information's really given, and it's just... more... nothing. So it's just the same room. Is it just, like... I'm just interested. Cause is it, like, three different ways for the same place? Uh, no, this is just an item. A star piece that we can sell. Why would you want a star piece when I can sell you a star me? Hmm. A part of me thinks that if we come up here, because we don't have, like, waterfall, so this is just like a fake out, it feels like. Interesting. Is waterfall even an HM in this game? Genuine question, because it doesn't bother me much if it's answered or not. It's funny, because, like, some HMs you just, like, know are going to exist in a Pokemon game. Strength, Fly, Surf. But then there's ones like Whirlpool, Waterfall, Flash, Defog. You have no idea what's going to come out. And yes, it is. That's some music. Our time is coming. A time for us alone. We'll send you back in time. A time before you started training. Well, technically, that would be sending my Pokemon back before the training. Me, I have already experienced the training, which isn't much. Oh, well, hey, this is where close combat's going to come in handy. Close combat! Annihilate him! Your three Pokemon will not save you from damnation. I will throw you into oblivion! So the Todd Howard physics can annihilate you! <laughs> You're gonna need Waterfall to climb the Pokemon League! Dang it! Why do they seem so intent on just throwing so many diddly D's. Why do I need to sacrifice, like, a, I guess the Buzel I have will have to become a temporary party member again. And then I can swap out my Pokemon when I actually get to the League, but that's just so dumb. It bothers me greatly. HMs are annoying to deal with. Sure, there are some that are technically optional. But I just, I don't like that, don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm certain that there are some people out there that are like, Oh, I can't believe they got rid of HMs. I like them. And those people need to be exiled to an island. Survivor style. Because Game Freak wanted to make Gen 4 the hardest Pokemon game. It's not even that much about, like, difficulty. It's just... annoyance. Team Galactic is all-powerful! Only a fool would show defiance to the mighty might of Team Galactic! Like, again, if they just made the HMs actually... viable as moves, maybe. But most of them are just kind of meh compared to the other moves you can get, except for, like... Surf, I guess. Maybe fly? But fly is just like the same damage as other flying moves, but you waste a turn. 
I think I have some full heals, so at least I, that won't have to be too bad. Get blasted! Are you gonna send in a Golbat? Then I'm sending in Amp. I shall freeze all your muscles with electricity and then throw you down the waterfall. <laughs> you know what's a funny mental image? A human turned Pokemon just wiping the evil team themselves. That would be funny. Like, imagine if, like, a hero from a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game and their partner get thrown back into the human world. And then they're just like, no time to actually talk to anybody. Let's go obliterate this evil team ourselves. That would be funny. And it would be interesting. I wanted to make sure that wasn't, like, an item or anything. Yes, 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 you are a meta champ. You exist. You're so big and strong. With big, thick thighs and smoochable lips, type. Be gone. Also, it's probably gonna be up here as the way out. Damn it. Why even have this rod? I get it, it's a it's a mountain, it's natural, but the architect of nature is bad. Why is it just a bunch of rocks to break? If I break one, does a geodude jump out and punch me in the nuts? No, they just exist. Ah. Once again, we're just... Welcome to Split Paths, which way is which you do not know. Also kind of horrifying that uh, just out here Pokemon, level 40. Wild Pokemon <laughs> exist up here in the mountains. Imagine if you're like, come on, honey, let's climb Mount Coronet. And then a monster that is more powerful than some gym leader teams just walks out and one shots you. Bruce Lee, the Pokemon here to murder you. Item rock? Item rock. <laughs> oh, she! I didn't know you were live. Maybe I should start tweeting out again when I go live. But even then... Oh, that's a cave. I didn't realize it was a cave down there. But even then, that doesn't even help much. Twitter eats tweets. People might not see it. Hmm. This really is split path the place. Why do they have to put, like, a single bush down there? It's gonna make me get into a fight one of these days. Or is this the right path? I'm very confused. <laughs> this is our final operation. No one will interfere! Now, even with notifications, social media is just nightmare worlds now. More power for AMP. We will annihilate you. Now you're the one who's intimidated. That's gonna poison you just automatically, isn't it? Oh, hey, it did. Huzzah! The game isn't evil. Nova leveled up. And Amp almost leveled up. You turn the tables on me. I call interference. The tables do not care for you. I am the god of tables. Because I just want to wander around. Find which way is which. I still don't understand all the random breakable rocks. What do? What do? What do? What do?
I get it's a mountain, but still, it feels weird to just wander about. <laughs> While you're out on the mountain, not knowing which way is which, you're about to become missing 411'd out here. Remember to stay hydrated so you don't die. <laughs> Pokemon knows how to stab my heart. That it, though. I wish more Pokemon things would stab my heart. Make me feel. Which is why I partly can't wait to get to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. I still need to draw the team that I'm going to go with as just like a reveal thing I can do during the initial stream. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to try and do the post-game of this because... Higgledy-piggledy, just like, uh... I also, I should probably look at, the, like, the TMs I should give people. You fucker. There are no electrodes, so the Gravelers took up the mantle of explosion, bitches. Well, I think it's, like, just guaranteed half your da- health, uh, Half your damage. Half your health. Well, first things first, uh, super potion for the boy. Let's go to our utilities. Hail, don't care. Bullet seed, I don't think anybody can use it. Plus, I Power! Ten! Ha! Taunt. Nah, frustration. <laughs> uh, that grows the more powerful, the less the user likes its trainer. Iron Tail. Earthquake. Return. The more the user likes its trainer, but I'm not sure, like, how much that, like, Qualifies to Ba. Then there's Dig, Shadow Ball, which is Ghost type. Power of 80, though. Double team, Shockwave, Shockwave. Uh, cannot be evaded. And I believe just, yeah. Oh no, power? Power. Hmm. But 60. Rock Tomb, Aerial Ace, Secret Power, Attract, Thief, Steel Wing. I wonder if Steel Wing, Steel Tail, Iron Tail. I guess the Snatch, Roost. It restores the user's HP by up to half of its max HP. Hmm. Grind, Drain Punch. Hmm. Embargo, Shadow Claw, which is 70 with 15 power points. Payback. So that's like you put on a slow move, like a slow item. The big about you are going the wrong way. Well, I'm going my way. Rock slide, grass knot. The heavier the foe, the greater the damage. Flash cannon. It's a steel type move for 80 damage. Hmm. And trick room. I guess let's go back because there's like I believe. Here, Shadow Ball, which is Ghost 80. Hmm. I don't have any ghost types, but. Because I think you should be able to learn it. Hmm. If the foe's already taken some damage in the turn, this attack's power is doubled. Which usually won't help much for me. I guess I could put Shadow Ball over Quick Attack, just so that I have other options. Let me quickly look at the power of... Bite again, it's 60, so 120. Oh no, not that bad. That is terrible math. Stab is 1.5, so 90. Math is terrible for me. Still, I guess I'll give Shadow Ball to... Oh, wow. Lots of you can make use of it. Even you. <laughs> mm, yeah, well, you need more moves. So, we'll get rid of Quick Attack, because... 
really, anything that I wouldn't want to use Bite on, I wouldn't use Quick Attack on either. Yeah, we'll just continue on. Meander our way, because I don't think there was a cave on the rock climb to the left back out there up with the single patch. Oh yeah, because you've you're a fighting psychic bastard. I forget. Let's try Shadow Ball, cuz why not? Should have done that from the start. My typing knowledge is bad. And again, hydration out here, out here in the hell zone. You stop to take a drink, monsters come out to kill you. We're gonna run away from you because you're just a self-destructing jerk. And of course, need to heal up the boy. Just in case. Again, this is probably just an item rock. This place loves item rocks. Just item rocks all over the place. In Pokemon Platinum, you see it's like a singular rock at the end of a tunnel, like a single tile tunnel. Or just like, like a pedestal. You know, you know exactly what it is. Shadow Ball. I know how to kill you now. Except not actually. Hmm. How dare you not do as much damage as I want. Shadow Ball! Again, just like, so many breakable rocks, and I just wonder, what is your purpose in this life? Is it really hot for you, Neon, or are you just very thirsty? It is quite decently warm out here, currently. I even have a fan on, not sure if you can hear it. Hopefully not, that'd be probably annoying. Feeling like the shards are needed later? There is, like, a guy that you can give shards to, and... For, a, like, a move service of some kind? I forget exactly what it is, though. Goodbye, Machoke. Feels like you had a lot of health there. Hmm. Oh, hey, another... You just completely missed me! Well, now that we know we're gonna be fighting you, I guess I'll put Shine back in front. Hello, I wanna fight you. Say, listen, do you realize you're breaking hearts by being successful? It's your fault that Team Galactic members are in so much pain! <laughs> nope, can't hear the fan. Huzzah! It is just far enough away to not be annoying. Hmm, I forget. Does Ghost do anything to Dark? I want to know. <laughs> Test time! Ah, but you have flying moves to be a jerk about. Or don't you? Maybe you don't have any flying moves and I can just annihilate you slowly. Oh boy, I can't do any... I can't use Sand Attack. Whatever will I do? Pocket sand. However, will I survive without it? Are uh, you gonna send in a glam meow? I'm gonna annihilate you. Get annihilated. Why does your tail look like a spring? Of course you survive. Aha! But you flinched, you idiot. 
And you sucker punched me. Oh, there. You did, like, one damage. And a critical hit! Again. Every single time. And a Murkrow. We're gonna throw somebody else out and kill this guy. Five damage. My boy has become a tank. Granted, it was a not very effective move, but still. Get obliterated, Merc Crow. By the power of lightning inside of this mountain. See, you left me brokenhearted too. And it is exactly what you deserve. And once again, put Indigo in front, I guess. Then again, we're running into a lot of Metacham. Of which, I guess... Nova. We can power level Nova, I guess. Um. And of course, we run into... Wait. Oh, dang, man. I guess, I mean, it wouldn't be terrible. But I don't think you're, like, the greatest at getting experience. So I get... Let's see how decent the not effective very... Oh, well, what? For some reason, my brain went... That wouldn't do much. Still kind of didn't, but... Is flying not... Is flying not resistant to flying? I don't know why. I guess it kind of makes sense. Birds fight birds a lot, but... I don't know. I just expected it to be resistant. I see you down there. What if I rolled a boulder to kill you? There you are, Metacham. You're exactly the cham that I came here to kill. I'll throw your body down this cliff at the, the, the dude at the bottom. He'll be like, we'll just stand here guarding the doorway. What the hell? Terminal velocity. Come fight me, Galactic Man. I can't believe you chased me here. Okay, let's see how tough you are. Ah, oh, you're the terrorist man who blew up the Great Marsh. I'll kick you down the road. Poison fly, uh, poison flying, poison fighting, I do believe. Of course you're gonna sucker punch me. How dare. If that did, like, what, 10 damage? Bye-bye, Krogunk. Go back to your cauldron. And you're gonna send in another Krogunk. Hmm. Who else do I want to level up? I guess I can throw an Indigo. Indigo should be able to annihilate him. Do you just have Krogunks? Is that all that you have? Is, it, is the final Pokemon going to be a Toxicroak at the very least? Get psychic. Blow up your pancakes with mind. No, oh, my flapjacks! That classic cartoon will never be viewed by you. All your memories of it have been taken away. Uh, dark and poison, I believe. Or not, I don't know. Brain is bad, but for some reason I can't remember Stunky's typing. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Four times weak to Psychic. And then I used Psychic, <laughs> the move, purely to annihilate him even harder. <laughs> My fucking pancakes! Hilariously, I had pancakes today. Indigo will never blow up my pancakes. <laughs> Dark poison. <laughs> like, I don't know, my brain just, like, constantly goes, like... Makes me second guess. My brain is a bitch. I don't think there's an item back there. It's just a rock. Who cares about you, rock man? Well, now I'm interested. What's up here? actually blocks the way. 
Again, the music of, like, climbing Mount Cornet is super cool. Oh, there was a shortcut. I think that... Was that just... Was that actually visible, or was the, like... 3D environment slightly making it off-put so that on my initial go-through it wasn't seen. Or is that just like a completely different place? I don't know. I am blind! Hmm, who should we throw in at the front? Let's have Indigo do some murder up here against this guard man. Hello, Spock. Yeah, right. You're absolutely right. I'm hopelessly lost. Please don't pay attention to a lowly crud like me without any Pokemon. Hmm. <laughs> I just used Return. It one-hit KO'd a Pokemon twice the level of mine. Neat. Well, that's interesting. What am I supposed to do here? Is this what I was told about? Going the wrong way? Why can't we use our Pokemon to beat him up? He has no Pokemon. We, we can totally win this. Meanwhile, this guy has like that one shopkeeper from Undertale genocide route knowledge. It's just like, <laughs> if I don't fight you, I can never lose. Uh, there is a rock item up here. Or not. How dare you. I trusted you to give me an item from a rock because it was standing there like a pedestal and instead you spit in my face. How dare you. How dare you dis just completely disregard the functionality of normal looking rocks that hold secrets. You are a monster. Random critical hit to just annihilate that Graveler. And who would be this? Graveler, Golbat, Metacham, Graveler. The moment that I put Indigo in front, all the Gravelers said, Please kill me! <laughs> Have some weed and die from it. Somehow, you are the first Graveler to ever overdose on weed. Then again, if a Rock-type was, like, overrun with Grass-type actual weeds, probably wouldn't be healthy. And then a sick riff. There's just, like, a good spread of Pokemon in here. So yeah, it was the 3D environment just barely hiding it if you're not paying attention. I'm a fool. Well, if that's not the way, unless I'm supposed to, like, do something to the guy to get him to move. The 3D environment. So, oh, there's a cave here that I completely missed. I thought I was, like, going the right way because there was a ton of galactic dudes. Normally, when there's a ton of galactic dudes, that's the good place to go. Because I think steel resists flying. How dare you. I can't believe Pokemon put in a bong. Just here to annihilate our life. But man, it has creepy eyes. Ah, oh, you became cloaked in a mystical veil. How about I spill bubbles in your face? Get bubbled, idiot. Are you just not going to attack Brine? I Brine because I can. You're gonna send another Bronzong at me, aren't you? 
who's here to ruin my day a second time. Another motherfucking Brazong. I'm just gonna run away. You're, you're a bell. There's no way you're fast. Now who do we want to do? <laughs> I'm eating ribs! For some reason, my brain immediately jumped to that skeleton vine. It's like, what is a skeleton's favorite snack? Go on, guess! Our boss is going to do something huge at the summit, but here I am dealing with some pesky intruder. You're spoiling the atmosphere. You can lose quickly, right? I can maybe kill you quickly. Well, I'll just bite you to death, because I can. That, that wasn't a critical? <laughs> Meanwhile, you got the critical, and it didn't help you. Bye-bye! Like I get it, you're you're a single you're what you're the first evolution of like a two evolution diddly d, but still, you telling me that you're that weak? <laughs> Ring those temporal tower bells. For some reason, my brain keeps forgetting that. You're telling me that ghosts haunt normal people but can't actually do anything? <laughs> but now I'm just imagining like Bronzong's just. Hanging from the mountain, ringing in the wind. Now I know exactly what we need for Pokemon Legend ZA. The Hunchback of Notre, Notre Dame. We get to see Kalos burn. You're not supposed to work, work me over like that. gonna be a double battle up here no just a single battle shine just uh, leveled up so Silas let's bring you up to pa team galactic will take control of everything you can try all you want but you can't do anything alone I'm not alone I have six Pokemon with me that are gonna kick your ass Bum, 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 bum. Aura Sphere! <laughs> I can either win click quickly or lose slowly. Those were... Even then, I don't think I could lose. Like, maybe I could just spend my entire turns just swapping out Pokemon, but then they send out, like, one Pokemon. I'm down to one Pokemon, and then they just get obliterated. I'd win. <laughs> There's nothing that I can do to lose to you. Like, maybe save Shine for last and then just... <laughs> Even then, the Sand Attack will just make it take forever. Like one of those Pokemon Softlock videos where it's like, I'm going to make the perfect Softlock so that it's just very annoying to get out of there. And it's better to just reset your entire run than try to fix it. <laughs> Yep, Aura Sphere can never miss. That's the bite that's gonna poison him, isn't it? Okay, good. I thought the game was gonna be like, now he's down to one health, he's gonna poison you as the last moment of spite. But no, the game was nice. All you gave me was the taste of defeat. Indeed. You stupid idiot. Let me see, do I Pokemon need healing? I guess I could heal those two. I probably should have bought more super potions. For outside of combat heals. And then emergency in battle heals could be hyper potions. I, I, I want to go to my Pokemon list, not my bag. 
even though you'd think I'd be keeping my Pokemon in my bag. Lucario, the ultimate purse purse puppy. You've worked so hard to get here, you should be proud of yourself. And now I'll send you packing home with only that happy thought. I'm gonna go kill your master before he kills you. Or really, before he kills everyone. God damn it, it's a gold bat. Where's Silver Bat when you need him? I just love the music in this game. When it comes out to play, it comes out to play. Oh no, not the mean look. You used it too late. <laughs> you just made it so that the monster of your doom will never leave. It's like you look under your bed and then say, You're gonna stay there, monster. And then it does, always there. Well, I'm gonna go. Go kill God, Neon. That I will. Thank you for spending some time with me tonight. Well, you gotta send in Crow Gunk, then we're gonna send out your four times weakness. Time for you to die. <laughs> Where's Platinum Bat? Where's the bat of all the metals? Confusion! Of course you're using Sucker Punch first. How dare you? Get confused, you moron. No one loves you. Not even God. Then you're gonna send in a Murkrow. Uh, who's best to murder you? Probably you. Then again, actually, I think Silas could do good because the dark and the flying cancel out. And we need to give him just a bit more experience. He's almost halfway to being leveled up. Kill. Get calculated. You still die in one hit. Ha ha ha! How dare you? That's how you respond to my generosity? Now I can have an even happier thought by going even higher than before. Alright, so beer pillar time. Don't, don't. Our boss is about to do something spectacular. Don't get in the way. Of course you will, won't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down in an epic duel. Bum, 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 bum. Blast you, and you're poison fighting, so I don't think you'll be bad. Get blasted. Hello, hello. We are at Spear Pillar finally. I, mean, I really should play Legends Arceus again. Playing Platinum is just like it makes me want to go and do it again. Experience it all. I wonder if there's a project of somebody like, walking around in Legends Arceus and showing, like, the similar places between Legends Arceus and Pokemon Platinum, Pearl, and Diamond. Goodbye, Glammeow. You have come to die. <laughs> smash or pass Lucario? Always smash! Like, I think it's, like, the first real furry bait Pokemon. <laughs> then again, there might have been some before, but he was the first, like, mascot level furry bait Pokemon. I guess Mewtwo could technically count. Depends on how he's drawn. Movie Mewtwo! Smash. <laughs> Generation 1 Sprite Mewtwo, kind of gonk. <laughs> the toughest of all grunts was me. Ah, he let some little kid beat me. Indeed you did. You fools, we're not capable of slowing you. 
We'll let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. I need to make sure that like all their move like all the moves I want to use are up good. Hmm. Aura Sphere is down ten, so we'll give you uh what is it called? Not an elixir, it's like a yeah, an ether. I wonder why they're using specifically the ba ba ba. Like uh the Final Fantasy Thing. At least that's what I always, like, associate it with. Final Fantasy ethers and stuff. Ah, there we go, I think. Dang it. I just want to look and see what the power points are. There we go. Uh, your bite eh, is not too bad. I think you're not bad. We should probably maybe... Let's see. Seven... Uh... I really should have bought more ethers. I think overall we should be good. It would be funny if Barry just showed up. It'd be like, I'll take on these commanders. Once again, save that we got all the way up here. Because I don't think we can just fly all the way back up here, so we'd have to trudge through everything again. Where do you think you're going? I won't let you disturb the boss. If you're go if you're not going to listen, you'll have to go through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Oh, hey, Barry! Hold on one second! Don't you start the party without me! Huh? Remember me? I'm here to get my revenge! Ha! Huh. If it isn't that little boy. The little crybaby from Lake Acuity. Did you toughen up a bit? Sure. Let's battle two on two. Here we are. <laughs> Although it would have been hilarious if Barry managed to just like... Oh, double bronze ore, you bitch. Oh, you got a Munchlax. Where did you get a Munchlax? Is that one of the honey Pokemon? I probably should have swapped Silas out. He's going to be double extra sensory. Unless it's kills. Damn it. Oh, you use reflect. Haha, <laughs> you fool! You haha, <laughs> you fools. And you're using stockpile. Well he's hmm. Yeah, I should probably get Silas out of there before he gets double hit. I'm sending out Lancelot to tank all the hits. Because his steel typing makes him less susceptible to those. Oh, you're going to go after him instead. Why would you go after him? There was a fighting type right there. You could have double extra sensory to fighting type. That would have probably killed him. I can't use uh, Surf because that would probably just annihilate Munchlax. Even if he is a normal type and wouldn't be too bad. I'm going to try and weaken the Bronzong so we can get them both out at the same time. Or at least roughly the same time. And then I basically just heal a little bit of the damage they did to me. I wonder if I can heal my teammates' Pokemon. This Munchlax is a monster. He's taking no damage. I, I, I kind of like the idea that Barry just went. It's like, I got a very tanky Pokemon. Another reason why I'm not just going all the way through. I'm, I'm trying to give him the opportunity to stockpile his beloved little boy. Even if this is kind of using up my, my, my power points. Oh, not the Confuse Ray, but it went after him. Or no, it went after me. Dang it. I thought it aimed at the Munchlax. 
Barry, can you actually punch them? Have your have your dude sleep on him or something. I'm gonna hit myself. Oh nope. Brined, idiot. The power of brine, and hopefully going up against the power of confusion, I should be able to annihilate these bronze ores. I do like that they had, like, three... ba 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 Three commanders. And gave us an opportunity for a double battle up in here. Brine! That's gonna poison Munchlax off the rip, isn't it? Okay, good, it didn't. Dang it. Really? The bronze ore was the least of our worries. That thing can poison us. Dragon Pulse? Cynthia, you can... You, you're about to die if I get this, maybe. The foe is attacked from a shockwave generated by the user's gaping mouth. 90 damage. Hmm. Ah. Because, I mean, Aura Sphere has been doing really good... But at that point, I should get rid of Swords Dance, because Swords Dance raises attack, which Close Combat uses. So if I put in Dragon Pulse over Close Combat, that means I'd have no point for Swords Dance, so I guess I'm going to get rid of Swords Dance. Yeah, definitely keep Aura Sphere. It's a true hit, and hits 90 with a stab, so very good. Yeah, because I'm never going to really use... Rock Smash? Well, maybe, because let's see. It sharply raises attack, so maybe that could bring up Rock Smash to be useful. But why do buffs when I can just smiggity smack? At the very least, that means that close combat is still there as a hefty physical fighting type damage. God, I want to use Surf so bad. We need to kill this skunk tank. Even though the poison guy is still here. And you got a fucking crit. That's bullshit. Barry, your guy did nothing. <laughs> Just Surf, maybe... But I also want Barry to, like, be a punching bag for me. Plus, if I hit Skunk Tank once more, I'll be able to use Brine to get it out of the game. I'm trying to be at least a little tactical. Barry can be, a just a little bit of a punching bag. Surf will most definitely hit Barry. It hit the last ally I had that I used Surf with. And of course, the bloody skunk tank raised its health back up. Well, you're gonna die anyway, so this is the perfect time, but... Like, see? It, con it contains my ally. Well, I'll even bring it into focus. It contains everybody. The only one it's not hitting is me. So it most definitely hits allies. Not gonna do it. Instead, I'll use Brine on the Golbat. Unless it just knocks out the Golbat one go. That'd be cool. Cool. That means that my brine isn't super duper powerful.
Hey, Rapidash. Neat. Now get that skunk tank out of here. Please, yeah, please aim at the Rapidash. I don't want that to hit me. I'll definitely throw Silas in to annihilate the Perugly, since it should just be a normal type. Unless somebody scary is left on, I believe, Mars's side? And a level up for the Lancelot. We might have to use the, the, the elixir on him. Oh no, Companda Jupiter. We'll get rid of the gold bat, and then we'll bring Silas in to annihilate the Perugly. Dang it, didn't get to the level of brining him to death. Is that going to cover the whole battlefield, so that means I can't swap out? Nope, just Rapidash. Why are they focusing on Rapidash so much? And you hit me. How dare. I'll probably throw the boy out. Then again, I probably should. Are you battling both Mars and Jupiter? Yep. Oh, hey, Fire Blast. Hell yeah. Good job, Rapidash. Please say that kills. Doesn't kill. Sadness. And you mean look him too, so we can't run away, which means I probably can't swap out. Can no longer escape. I want to test it. Does that mean? Yep, cannot be switched. Sadness. How dare you. And of course, just barely survives underneath the threshold. I wonder, can I heal my ally? I cannot heal my ally. That would have been a, n a neat feature. I was gonna try and brine if maybe Rapidash got a hit off before I did. Or before they died, at least. Is that gonna be enough to get you over? Nope. Oh, you had... Munchlax? I'm trying to count how many he threw out. No, this is his fourth Pokemon. Why does a Perugly know Aerial Ace? This big buff cat just flew through the air. Sheesh, I have no idea. I should have done the fighting myself. Ah, oh, you've toughened up, but you're no match for our boss. I am the match for all bosses. Heh, <laughs> my Pokemon are tough, right? Decently. You probably would have lost to either one of them on your own, though. I can get even tougher. But you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. Neon, I'll help you with this. Thank you, Barry! Hey, Neon, this is it. It's your show now. And then he just runs away. Everything is ready for the creation of a new world. Now, all will end, and everything will begin. With this... The red chain made from the crystals of the three-legged Pokemon. And this, the red chain I replicated with technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. let's -a go Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and the master of time. And the other, Palkia, the mythical Pokemon and the master of space and dimensions. Oh boy. Just tearing everything apart with these balls.
I've waited so long for this moment. Dialga and Palkia. Shaping this world is a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have now can disappear. I am resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world. A world of complete perfection. Nothing so vague and incomplete as spirit can remain. Ooh. Hello, Yuxi, I believe. Mesprit. Are you sending aid? As elf. What aid do you send? <laughs> We're gonna create a giant fracture over Mount Coronet and send you to the past. I should have expected as much. The be Yuxi, the being of knowledge. Azelf, the being of willpower, and Mesprit, the being of emotion. The Pokemon have come to protect Sinnoh. Pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three lake Pokemon that symbolize spirit, to balance either the Pokemon of time or space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not with both Dialga and Palkia here. Their coming here is vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Neon, you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all... There will remain no spirit for all time when I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away. From you. From your Pokemon. From those precious to you. It is time. My dream will be my reality. What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged. Here comes the boy! Here comes Pokemon Satan! Literally tilting the pillars away! Interesting. Like this, it almost looks like a gaping sideways maw. So there is a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. Are you gonna yoink him? I, Cyrus, won't have any more interfere! <laughs> Giratina jump scare! No! All right, they're all going in. Ah, oh, what you doing? Mesprit? <laughs> I'm gonna show off, <laughs> show off my hairdo, then I'll go in. I'm sorry I took so long. I think I finally found the answers from studying the myths. When this world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Apparently, there was one more Pokémon that appeared at the same time. A Pokémon with as much power as Dialga and Palkia. But also one whose name was never to be spoken. Giratina! It's said to lurk in another world. A world on the opposite side of ours. So basically, Giratina is the anti-monitor. That's what the shadow was. It must have been Giratina. The pillars are distorting. It's because of that portal. It's joined us to the other world. If it's not closed, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? We have to chase Cyrus. We have to hurry. We have to cross the world of dimensions. This place. Can you feel it? There are no Pokemon here at all. Time isn't flowing and spi uh, spice and space isn't stable. A world where the rules are broken. 
a space one might call the Distortion World. Let's find Kiratina. We need to stop the spreading distortion at Spear Pillar. That was Kiratina. We have to hurry. If something's not done, the distortion will swallow not only our world, it will overwhelm the distortion world. It's been forever since I've been here. But what's this way, though? I find it funny that we can just go that way. This rock slab. It appears to move if you step on a certain spot. How you know that, Cynthia? You've been here before? Will we get to see Giratina if we keep going down? In the distortion world, are we really traveling downward? We get to see Cynthia just skip away. With the grace of a ten-year-old. Hey, Mesprit. <laughs> you... Did... Oh! Interesting. This is actually kind of cool. But Cynthia's just gone now. <laughs> She's sideways. Ooh. Oh no, I wanted to go that damn it. Oh, good, he comes back. Is this like a puzzle? Ah, interesting. The kind of lack of music is interesting. Like, the per... The periodic lack of music. <laughs> I'm just gonna wander around the distortion world because I can. Maybe I'll find a distortion Pokeball. Place is just here to mess with you. It is kind of interesting at the very least. Even if, like, these alternate paths aren't really alternate paths as much as just things to do. The legend of Giratina has been all but forgotten but to a few. The legend told of a world on the other side of ours. This world. Why does this world exist? Why is Giratina here all alone? There's so much that can't be explained. But we have things to do. Let's split up. We have to find the right way. You know, a part of me is kind of disappointed that we didn't get to, like, see the distortion world in Legends Arceus, come to think of it. That would have been interesting to see, and like, then again, it probably would have been harder to do in a 3D environment. Is this all... I don't know. I feel like I'm going in circles. Well, at least this will take me someplace. <laughs> do you have enough Pokeballs to catch Giratina? Maybe. I do think I have a bunch of Ultra Balls. It is a distortion world, so just things coming out of thin air. Oh, hey, Cyrus. 
the shadowy Pokemon isn't here. It abandoned me here, then disappeared somewhere further down. Was it content merely to interfere with my plan? Incidentally, do you understand the concept of genes? I'd like to, yes. If it's true, you've impressed me. Genes can be considered the blueprints of all life forms. That includes humans and Pokemon alike. Genes are contained in a DNA strand. A DNA strand consists of two chains of opposing characteristics in a spiral. If one of the chains were to be broken, the other could replicate it. One or the other cannot exist without its opposite. Do you understand where I'm going with this? This is a bizarre world. Time doesn't flow. Space isn't stable. Only that shadowy Pokemon lives here. This world is the opposite of our world. Our world I wish to change. It's like the two chains composing a strand of DNA. The two worlds must be balancing each other to remain in existence. Without the one, the other cannot exist. The shadowy Pokemon must play a role in keeping the worlds in balance. That is why it must have interfered and brought me here. The shadowy Pokemon must have made this bizarre world. That's why trying to change our world disturbed it and made it reveal itself. But that is all irrelevant. What matters is defeating that Pokemon and making this world disappear. I won't allow it to interfere with me again. With it gone, neither world will be able to revert to its original state. He just walks up, monologues, and leaves. So this is all just like randomness. Maybe I went the right way? By pure luck? I don't think there's much to really explore down here. I should probably save. And then when we actually get into a fight with Giratina... I'll probably make, like, a save state just to simplify things. Are you gonna help? Or are you just gonna reveal yourself? <laughs> well, I see Mesprit down there. Oh, I need to push the rock! That's why you exist! Luckily, I don't have to worry about any Pokemon. Although, Distortion Pokemon would be interesting. Nope, doesn't seem like there's much here. What are these weird trees? They're like... Evil little monster... Ba ba ba. Hmm. Are you telling me to push the rock down that hole? So it's telling me where to go to get more rocks. It's probably what it is. All right, just dance around with me. Yeah, telling me to push the rock down here. Well, I don't think we need to rescue the lake trio because they chose to come here. <laughs> we saved them once before. Oh, hey, there's Cynthia. And this is making me go back up. Okay. Damn. Damn ghost rocks. And ghost trees. Hello and welcome to the illusion world more than anything. I 
I don't even know what I'm doing. I just came back to a different elevator, I think. Yep, Giratina did indeed just flew past. Because I obviously don't need to be up there. I need to go push rocks around. But I did see both Cynthia and Cyrus. Finally, they're both beginning with C. Excuse me. Unless I'm, it's, unless it's because I went. Oh no, I probably do need to go this way so I can go back up to go back down. That's probably it. Because I jumped down the way to push the rock, so I need to go through everything again. I think I understand. <laughs> Rowan, he's just like speaks through dimensions. Now's not the time to ride your bicycle in an alternate dimension. Like, what are you? Multi-dimensional? Well, let's try this elevator. Probably lead me back to Cyrus. He just walks away. He's like, oh, damn it, the brat's following me. How does this place have water? Yes, yes, Giratina, you, you fly around everywhere. And now we're upside down. And I don't have Waterfall as a TM, so I... You better not be demanding that I have it, game. Because I don't. Never mind. For some reason, I can... Waterfall without Waterfall TM. If only this was all the time. Why can't I just use uh, Surf up a waterfall when... Like, what's a waterfall if not just big water? With gravity. Are you gonna say to push the rock down here? Because I will. Yep, he moved the diddly D. I can understand your... What's the word? Charades? Did I sneeze? I forget if I sneezed. You see, I am dumb. Because <laughs> hmm, I do believe this is the only way to go. I just need to come down here. Jump around. Push some rocks. So you are saying to push this one here. Would be amusing to see what happens if I push it into the wrong hole, but I shall not disappoint my darling lake trio. <laughs> lake trio is just like, thank God, a Pokemon trainer that's like mildly intelligent. Need to be careful because I have strength activated. There you go. Because if I wasn't careful, I could have potentially ruined everything. I guess the Pokemon of the lakes must have gone home. I understand they keep balance against either Palkia or Dialga. Does it mean they can't do that much of uh, that with Giratina? Oops, this is no time for idle chit-chat. But this is time for Elevator. How did you get down here, Cyrus? We were on the same platform. I don't know if any of your Pokemon can even learn Surf. This is it. Giratina's up ahead. Once again, save so we don't have to go through all the puzzles again. So, you were already here. Why why do you seek to change the world? If you hate our world, you should just go off somewhere alone. 
Find somewhere where you can live without seeing others. Why should I run and hide from the world and have to wait quietly? My aim is to rid our world of the vague and incomplete thing we call spirit. By freeing ourselves of that, our world can be made complete. That is my justice. No one can interfere. I won't lose. Not to that shadowy Pokemon. Not in any worthless... Not in any worthless world. Why can't we gang up on him, Cynthia? You're the, you're the champion. Galactic Boss Cyrus. Here to kick your ass. Or a sphere. How dare you go first, you bastard. He's part steel. This is going to hurt. Oh, fuck off, game. Oh, he's a glass cannon. I'm going to shove these glass shards in your eye. How's that for type advantage? And of course you use burn, because you're a bastard. That's supposed to have like a low accuracy, you know. How dare your Hound Doom be faster than my Lucario. The last Lucario that I fought actually was super fast. How dare you be slower than me? Gonna send in a Gyarados. Four times weakness time. <laughs> I guess Houndoom is also a glass cannon. We just slapped the glass cannons together. Glass everywhere. I don't think I need to be scared of you, so this is a perfect time to heal up my dude. I keep forgetting that Revive is just there. Never mind, you have Earthquake for some reason. Why? Why do you have Earthquake? Spark, die, you bastard. Hey, let's give the water flying type Earthquake and not fly! That's just silly. Gonna send in Weavile. Be faster this time, please! Cause you are four times weak to fighting, Weavile. Ice and dark. A nice sprite, though. Die. Of course you go first. And luckily it didn't do much. Oh, inner focus means no flinch! Fool! Time for you to die! Of course I get a critical hit there. I honestly wouldn't have minded if you lived a little bit. Then again, it it's a critical four times. Why? Haunch Crow. I'll just send down to Amp again. I honestly forget what typing Giratina is. Part Dragon, I think? Spark! Get rid of this hunch crawl. And last will be his uh, Crobat, right? The Pokemon that requires love to evolve. Get blasted, idiot! Weavile is pretty fast, though. <laughs> fast, but chose to not do anything actually substantial. And Amp can stay out and annihilate the Crobat. Dragon Ghost. I admit that you've pushed me to this extreme. Also, how did you get, like, more Pokemon and have them level up a lot? I'm not sure what I have that's good against Dragon and Ghost. Except maybe Silas's Dragon Pulse. Maybe... Shine? This... this cannot be! It's not possible that I lose! Are you gonna heal your Crobat? Because I will give Shine some experience if you're gonna <laughs> keep him low. You fucker. Well, at least now I can swap back in and... Well, actually, 
I'll heal Amp. So that you can just batter away at the, my tank for a little bit. I have a lot of hyper potions. Wrong one, I am a fool. Yes, please, waste your turns. Yeah, that just means that my other teammates will be ready. I'll just have to make sure to heal that poison. Luckily, I have, like, ba ba ba, what's it called? Full heals? I'll send the amp back out, blast you of spark twice, and win the day. Get intimidated. Is cross poison a move that like gets amped by the target being poisoned as well? Like feel? Uh, How dare you do that, you monster! Break through the confusion and attack him anyway. Yes. Hey, how about a crit? That'd be funny, right, game? We watch the health bar go down, go down, go down. Damn it, damn it, it survived, son of a bitch. Well, spark again, I guess. Ah, snapped out of confusion. <laughs> Thank you, Amp. Get obliterated, Cyrus. And level 49 for Amp. Wants to learn Scary Face. That's just the move that's like, hey. Oh, wait, no. Frightens the foe with a Scary Face to sharply reduce its speed stat. Huh. I don't think there's anything I care to get rid of, though. Then again, Crunch is just Bite, but better. Well, uh, hmm. actually, no, because might cause flinch, might lower target's defense. Hmm. I don't really care much about the speed stat too much. So, bye-bye, Scary Face. I'm not going to use you much. I'm, more than likely, if I did forget a move for Scary Face, I just forget to use Scary Face anyway. I won't accept this. This can't be! Not after all the sacrifices we've made to get this far. What of my new world? Of my new galaxy? Was this all a dream to be swept away? He just rambled on too much. Don't think that you can defeat or capture that Pokemon. This bizarre world is none other than that Pokemon itself. Capturing it or defeating it will make this world disappear. Very well, do what you will. Rather than repairing the world, you're going to destroy it for me. Do it. You inherit my legacy. Don't believe his lies. It's not possible that a Pokemon can make the world disappear. Meanwhile, God, the world awaited your birth, not only yours either. The Pokemon with you, the people close to you. All the Pokemon and people were born because they have a part in the world. I'm convinced of that. Giratina won't go out of existence. This world won't disappear. Our world won't disappear either. Let's go meet Giratina. Oops, I should do something about your hardworking Pokemon first. Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> Now let's go meet Giratina. Giratina is enraged because the two worlds are endangered. It has merged the distortion world and our world at Spear Pillar. That's why both worlds are becoming distorted. But there's nothing to fear. You can defeat Giratina and show the tight bond you share with your Pokemon. Or you can demonstrate how much you want it to join you. If you succeed in either, Giratina will understand. The distortion of the two worlds will stop. How do you know this? How are you so aware? We'll save. And then, of course, I'll still make, like, a save state before the battle begins. And then maybe make save states during the battle if Giratina pisses me off enough. I thought I, into I, thought I entered into a cutscene for some reason.
Come meet me, O oh Giratina of the Distortion World! I will face you head on! God, you look so cool! Giratina's quietly eyeing Neon. Let us fight! Well, that's a cool effect. The Distortion World's Giratina appeared! Go, Silas! It doesn't even have any land. That's such a cool detail. Dragon Pulse! That's a lot of damage for not very effective. Please don't kill! Okay, that's actually... Dragon Pulse again? Oh shit. What? Uh huh. Well, Super Potion. Because you're gonna slam on out of the Distortion World portal and smack me, aren't you? <laughs> Dragon Pulse! You fucking pussy! Fine, I'm gonna swap in Shine and I'm gonna throw sand in your eyes. Watch this somehow do like critical or like super effective damage. Will you please stop? No oh, ominous wind instead, huh? I'm gonna throw sand in your eyes. I just remembered I had quick balls. Oh well. This is why we have uh, timer balls that I got a few of. I think you could survive one more. <laughs> I reset so that I could catch it in the dusk ball I prepared. <laughs> Or are all of these moves just guaranteed to hit? I could believe anything at this point. But I have hyper potions for days, so I can stall! I mean, I could use the Master Ball, but why do that? Ah, shit, Ancient Power. Finally, the sand attacks are doing something. Yes, more sand in your eye. One more sand attack, and I do believe you're ready for preparation. I should probably heal Silas before I throw him out. Knowing my luck, I'd throw Silas out, he'd immediately get hit. We're gonna throw out one more Dragon Pulse and... Game? Do not... I repeat, do not give me a crit! Well, I don't know exactly what to do with that. Uh... Rock Smash! Oh. <laughs> Face the shadow of the night, I'm forever out of sight! Well, how often you keep doing that, that's definitely true. Please do not crit. For the love of God, don't. Okay, good. Um, Rock Smash. Oh, wait, no. Fighting moves don't affect them, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I guess uh, throw out another Rock Smash. At least I also have moves that I can use to stall for time. Well, I'll give you a choice. Here, get in the Premier Ball. You want a Premier Ball, Giratina? Eh, you don't like the Premier Ball. Thank you, Sand Attack. 
Well, either way. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Not great ball. I thought I bought Pokeballs. Ultra Balls are over here. I'm dumb. My brain is dumb, you see. Let's see if that actually does anything. One. Two. Dang it. The problem is, I feel like if I threw out one more, like, uh, Dragon Pulse, it would KO him. Hmm. Maybe I should try a Timer Ball. I hope, I, I hope he doesn't run out of power points. Oh, wait, no, not Quick Ball. That's silly. Timer Ball. <laughs> Use Dusk Ball. I will try it next. I do have one. Nope, apparently the timer ball is useless. I feel like I've been here longer than most legend like most fights typically take. Dusk ball, how about you? Nope, did not like the dusk ball. Let me look through my Pokemon and see if uh, we have somebody that has, like, a move that's, like... Because it's Dragon Ghost, like... Ah, but... Mm, that's probably a crit. Strength is normal, won't affect Ghost. Let's see, what are your moves? Assurance, Shadow Ball. So I could probably throw Shine out and throw Shadow Balls at it a little bit. <laughs> you needed to wait a little longer for the effects of Timer Ball to work. Well, how about the game actually explain them to me? Because all I know is longer the longer the encounter, the better the Timer Ball. That's literally all I know. I also have five more of them to use. Oh, wait, what? That's critical. Huh. Weird. Why is that super effective? Why is is dragon weak to ghost? Is that what it is? You know, just for the funny aha, I'm gonna throw a quick ball and see what happens. If this catches, I will laugh. Yeah, I figured. It would have been hilarious though. It would have been funny. Ghost is weak to ghost. Twitch chat says Spark will do less damage. True, but it also gets stabbed from... Amp. So I'm just a little hesitant to use it. One. Damn it. I could always try another timer ball before I hit you again. Because you're on the cusp of that, like, area of if, if I hit you, you'll probably die. And I hate that. Timer ball, because why not? Oh, specifically after 10 turns, the timer balls have a 4 times catch rate. I do not know the specifics of Pokemon <laughs> and its catch power. All right, I guess I will try, hmm. Because I don't really have a weak move on anybody. Uh, normal, so it's 90, but hmm. I don't really have weak moves and everybody has stab on like the weaker ones. If only I, like, I, if only I was more intelligent and knew, like, the type table. I'll try a wing attack. I'll try a wing attack. It's basically similar to Spark. Then again, Spark also has an opportunity to do blah, blah, blah. Paralyze. Which I probably, oh, Ancient Power, yeah. And again, it doesn't really matter. If either this kills or it doesn't.
Of course! I knew it. This is why I made a safe state. I'll muck about a little bit. Hmm. What about the magical, magical leaf? 60. But no stab. I'll try that, I guess. Worst comes to worst, I'll reset to before the fight and I'll spam sparks until it gets paralyzed. Magical leaf, unless this kills. Still, of course you give me a critical hit, you bastard! Might as well give it a shot again. Is the crit baked in? In later Pokemon games, the timer balls ended up being uh, more different. The longer the battle, the stronger the timer balls would be. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to double team just to waste a turn to stave off that crit. Since that ancient power missed again. Don't ask why they changed it in later generations. Because Game Freak is silly. Please survive. I might be able to throw in one more hit with Magical Leaf. Yeah, it's mostly just the fact that, like, everything else has stab. Survive? Nope, you die. So you are there. Well, might as well try another timer ball. It's definitely been over 10 turns now. Two? Three? Damn it! You dare taunt me! I don't want to use my master ball on you. Because this is decently not that bad, all things considered. If this doesn't work, we'll just go through a whole... Why not the Ultra Ball? It is the Ultra Ball! It is the Ultra Ballin'! It is the best normal Pokeball you can get for your dollars! Fine, have a normal Pokeball! Would you like that? It's red like you! I'll just go through all the Pokeballs for memes. I was going to say, if we got to three, I was going... Oh no! It has struggle now! Let's try it again. How dare you. Normal Pokeball for the memes. Damn it. <laughs> Let's, well, not battle items. Let's try another timer ball. Please. Please. Fuck. Speed up. Please? 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 <laughs> I didn't know you were this far in the game. I missed the cool part. Ah, sorry. Giratina's data was added to the Pokedex, though! <laughs> ah, I didn't have to reset the entire fight. It was banished for its violence. It silently gazed upon the world, the old world from the distortion world. It is 1,433 pounds and 22 feet. What? Should we give you a, a nickname? What kind of nickname? I don't even have a nickname that I think I'd give you. I can't think of any nicknames for you. <laughs> Giratina gave me mental anguish from Legends Arceus. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think. Do I care to give you <laughs> Long Worm? Funny, but no. <laughs> Tyrone? Nah, it doesn't fit. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. What's that? Da, da, da. <laughs> Lucifer. No. Because an idea. We have Lancelot. Hmm. 
trying to think. I know! We will call you... Morgan! After Morgan Le Fay of Arthurian legend! Because we have Lancelot, you're supposed to be kind of like evil, but you're also kind of not evil. Morgan Le Fay. Also, that one funny aha uh, bit from, uh, I think, Randy Feltface. Morgan! Morgan! <laughs> Giratina seems to have understood us. That Pokemon, that shadowy Pokemon was captured? Oh no, it was a totally wrong thing. Your doing so means this irrational world will remain in existence. Does that mean it is impossible for me to create a new world? Even if I made a new red change, the new world can't be made. Why? What compels you to protect the two worlds? Is spirit a vague and incomplete thing so important to you? The places we are born, the time we spend living, the languages we speak, we are all different. But the presence of Pokemon unites us. We share our lives with our Pokemon, and our happiness grows as we all become greater than we were alone. That is why we can battle and trade with anyone we choose. Silence! Enough of your blathering. That's how you justify spirit as something worthwhile. That is merely humans hoping, deluding themselves that they are happy and safe. The emotions roiling inside me. Rage, hatred, frustration. These ugly emotions arise because of my own incomplete spirit. Enough. We will never see eye to eye. This I promise you, I will break the secrets of the world. With that knowledge, I will create my complete and perfect world. One day you will awaken to a world of my creation. A world without spirit. Are you just gonna wander the distortion world eternally, my dude? Since there is sadness, we can feel joy. When there is anger, compassion is born. Let's go back home. The portal where Giratina was should lead back to our world. Giratina was written in legend as a being on the other side of our world. It stands to reason that it has a link to the other side. Let's -a go! Da -da 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 -da. This place? Where is this place? It's the Send Off Spring. It's said to somehow lead to a great beyond. And Giratina was said to live in a world on the opposite side of ours. Oh, I'm sincerely sorry. It's very rude of me. Neon, you're incredible. You really are a fantastic trainer. Let me say this on behalf of all of Sinnoh. Neon, thank you. Oh, that's right. You have to go tell Professor Rowan. He was very worried about you. You should go visit him at his lab. Isn't this, like, similar to, uh... Yeah, place... Yeah, isn't this similar to the, uh... Ba-ba-ba. Ba, ba. The place that, uh, Giratina ran away to at the end of Legends? I forget. Oh, I thought I could actually go there. Perspective! <laughs> but send off Spring, I am unaware of it. How dare you exist? I'll kill you! And by kill you, I mean run away, because my Pokemon are hurt. We just finished beating down a god. Will you leave us be? What did we ever do to deserve your hatred, wild Pokemon? Ba -ba -da -ba. I do find it funny that there's just, like, a little place there. Also, save, 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 please. We've only spent two hours saving the world. We probably have time for uh, ba -ba -ba. doing the final gym, maybe. We'll 
climb down, see what's around town, and then probably fly to Professor Rowan Town. Spring Path. Tell us of the secrets. Yeah, I do not think that existed before. Maybe it did. I don't believe you. Well, by the way, we're gonna fly to Rowan Town. Sand Jam. Come to think of it, I wonder, like, how Jubilee matches up to the Jubilee of Legends Arceus. <laughs> no, it didn't before. Haha! <laughs> My memory is not so terrible! Thank you for healing my Pokémon. I fought a god. You know, a part of me wonders if there's special dialogue for having Giratina in your party. But I don't want to change out anybody. I like my team. Just in case there's special dialogue, I'm going to have Giratina in my party, but then we're directly going to get them back because, again, I like the team I have. Hello, hello. We just defeated a god and added them to our party, and now he has legs. Morgan Le Fay has legs. Now that's very weird. Imagine if we could, like, walk through that, uh, cute Pokemon park with Giratina. I think that'd be hilarious. Neon, you've come back! You- you leave me speechless! You've done it! You really have done it! Never has my heart pounded this way for so long in my 60 years of living. After you left, the professor did a lot of checking around. He got really worried about you, Neon. He got in touch with people he knows to rustle up help. You didn't need it, Neon. I'm glad to see you back and safe, too. Oh, yes, there was something I had to tell you. The three Pokemon of the lakes appear to have returned to their homes. So tell me, how are things going for you? The Pokedex? A total of 165 on the number of badges? Well, you've got seven already. That only leaves Sunny Shore's gym. Um, you've come this far. Why not obtain Sunny Shore's badge? And why not challenge the Pokemon League? That'll broaden your horizons further than ever before. Not to mention the opportunities to meet even more Pokemon. Oh, you don't care about Giratina? Oh, if you see Cynthia, please give her my m best regards. Hmm. Kind of sad that we can't be like, Hey, Professor, look, I caught a god! A lost god that only nerds know about! Like Cynthia! Man, yeah, we're not going to use Giratina, because even though Giratina is a wonderful Pokemon, one of the best, I'm going to use the team that I built up. The team that I do like. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. <laughs> Once again, saving a lot of data. You flew, and walked places, and talked to people. That's a lot of data. Then again, that also probably activated, like, the things to let you actually get to Sunny Shore and do Sunny Shore stuff without the game flipping out. So it's probably just checking a bunch of flags. <laughs> hmm. But you know what? We've gone for two hours. <laughs> Go to the Lake Trio Cave. Which one? There's three. Because I don't think there was a specific, because I guess we could probably. We're, we are nearby. We can always check out this one. Might as well. We have Amp. We can probably paralyze one into submission. <laughs> Make a whole team of legendaries. Yeah, depending on what happens here, we'll maybe go to the other ones. Unless it's just a, ooh, you can catch him now, which... Might not do now. Then again, actually, well, we could give him a shot. <laughs> I 
I think Neon might want to do that post-game, maybe. Hello, Mesprit. I'm gonna have... Catching legendaries? I, like, it depends. Like, if I can do it before the Elite Four, <laughs> neat. And, of course, make a safe state for quicker loading. Nope, you just disappear. Mesprit flew off somewhere. Oh, no! Oh, no! These are the legendary dogs! Oh! Neon, that was Mesprit, wasn't it? You've accomplished what I'd ask you to at the Canalave Library. I asked you to get data on the Pokemon of the lake, and you did, but it didn't provide any answers about the myster mysteries of evolution. I still don't know why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. Ultimately, it only deepened the mystery. But having mysteries to solve, that adds to my enjoyment. Neon, why don't you chase after Mesprit? To me, it seemed as if it wanted to play with you. If you were to use the Poketch app mocking map, you'd be able to track the movements of Pokemon. Go on, Neon. I'm sure that you'll be able to keep countless Pokemon and people. Those encounters will keep thrilling you in their own special ways. I hope you'll enjoy that experience. Take care, Neon. I don't know... Oh! Yeah, I have the Poketch app up already. So I know where you are. At least that's nice. I guess I'll try to get to where you are, wander around, see if I can find you. See if I can quick ball you. But more than likely, you probably don't even need a Poketch app to catch Mesprit. It's just that it's probably a big old pain to catch if you don't have it. But yeah, we'll probably go around to the different lakes and activate them. And then maybe see about... Because we have... We've been going for two hours, so... Might be time enough to chase after. Nope, it seems like you enter a new place, it gets further away. Hmm. I wonder if I could fly... Let's see what flying does to you. Do, 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 do. And plus this is nearby the other lake, so might as well. I do like that it's actually... Oh yeah, you stay. Mwahaha. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, you've teleported. Maybe it just uh, took you a bit of time to update. Maybe. But that just means you're going to get in front of me again. Ah, you came back! Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot. I haven't fought all of you people. Oh, Mesprit is the only rather, uh, runner other than Cresselia. Err! Ah, did not know that. You need the move uh, block or mean look because Mesprit will run from battle. And here I thought that there weren't any runners in this here game. I don't know why I use that. That's not going to do much to it. It's a plant Pokemon. It'd be hilarious if it's still killed. Darn it, it didn't kill. I don't know why it didn't go down this path. Meh. We'll just quickly get through you. I caught Mesprit between Floroma Town and the route next to it. It's probably the easiest way. Maybe. I guess I'll throw you out. I did not pay attention to who's coming up next because they're all going to be weak and I'm not that scared. I should probably be a little scared. Oh yeah, what if I close combat you? Get close combated. It's like Mortal Kombat, but more. Yeah, if this is probably going to be Quick Ball Haven. Oh, 
Oh, yay. The blibber blabber's here. Hmm. See? Unless it's, like, in a specific place, I should be able to just... Maybe find you out here? <gasps> Are you here? I found you! Will you get into a quick ball, please? Get mean looked at. I have some quick balls for you. Quick ball! Be hilarious if it worked on the first try game, right? That'd be funny, haha. -ha. Damn it, quick ball bad. What's even the point of life? And then we have to go to like. Oh no, it updated. Well, I might as well head back and like see what the other lake is like. Especially since I lack mean look and any heart scales to go to the move tutor. Or like move rememberer. Again, really do like how Legends RCS uses moves. Because you can just act, go to, you can just go and mess with them. I just, I like that. I like that a lot. And I dearly, dearly hope that other Pokemon games, like, match up with that. Because that's such a good quality of Pokemon life. Then again, I could just make a whole stream of just like, I'm gonna f just catch him by throwing quick balls. That might be funny. Or annoying. For me. This is the one that got destroyed, so... Oh wait, the, the water's back at... How did this get fixed so easily? Seriously, how did it get fixed so easily? A Psyduck? Where's all the Magikarp I was promised, or did they all just die? Man, the Pokemon world is fast to heal from nat natural disasters. And just in case it initiates a fight, I'm gonna save. <laughs> they brought in Kyogre. We just flew Kyogre in. Rayquaza just... Pulled him along. Hello, Azel. Oh, you're actually gonna fight me! I have no idea what your types are. Psychic? I'm gonna assume psychic something. But, for funny ahas, I'm gonna throw out a quick ball! be hilarious if it worked on you instead of the runner, right, game? That'd be funny. That'd be funny, right, game? Damn it. Quick balls are shit. Interesting use. Swift isn't all that powerful. I say as it gets fucking half my health. Hmm. I shall use strength next. See if I can weaken you without killing you. Unless it's get crits and I'll be sad. Well, I guess I'll send out Shine to tank. Ah, the Lake Trio is all Psychic and only Psychic. Neat. Would you like an Ultra Ball for your troubles? Damn it, you hate the Ultra Ball. All right, I'm going to throw a bunch of sand in your eyes. Because you're actually doing a lot of damage. All right, got to go heal. I probably should have checked out a store to restock on things.
And sent. Okay, use. What the fuck? It's like it. Swift is guaranteed to head. If I am correct, if I remember correctly, Swift is guaranteed to head. So I'll need somebody who's. Huh. Now try another Ultra Ball. Because I can. All right, you just hate the Ultra Ball, I guess. Would you like a normal Pokeball for Funyuns? No, you don't like that either. Again, I don't want to use... Then again, maybe I could use my Master Ball on the Runner. That's always a possibility. Hey, would you like another quick ball? It'd be funny if it worked now. No, I figured it wouldn't. Uh, well, let's see. Great ball. You like the great ball? No, you don't like the great ball. And the uproar finally calmed down. Why Future Sight? That shouldn't hit because Dark, unless Future Sight doesn't work like that. I think it's been more than uh, 10 rounds. You've done timer ball? Ha ha! I was expecting it to break out, so I didn't. I, I forgot to take off the, the fast forward. Huzzah, Azel. When Azel flew, people gained the determination to do things. It was the birth of willpower. Hmm. What kind of name should I give you? I think I have an idea, but I need to remember it. Because you're as elf, you're willpower. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hmm. What kind of name should I give you? Trying to think. Hmm. Me trying to think of a brain just not good. Valor, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Name him after the lake is just like, like, you lived here all this time. So, like, we're gonna name you after the place you lived. That'd be funny. Instead, I shall do a funny and name it after a reference, but not tell anybody what that reference is. So, if you, if how you have to use your knowledge. <laughs> Gahi. If I didn't like, like, my, I just have initially thought of it as like, it, I have the perfect nicknames, at least for me. For all of them, but only I will understand it, probably. Might as well go to Lake Acuity as well. We'll heal because Amp got obliterated there. We'll see how you see handles things. I have no idea how to activate Cresselia. <laughs> Gahi? Question mark? Exactly. Like I said, only I will understand it. I will just say this. It is technically a Pokemon reference. Technically. Not any official stuff. Maybe if I catch the other ones... Like, again, I highly doubt anybody is going to get the reference. Damn snow. Let's see what... Because we got Azelf, Mesprit's on the run. Let's see how Yuxi wants to handle things. 
I should go back. Actually, I, I need to go back and actually buy stuff. I'm low on supplies. I need to actually go buy things before I go in there. Definitely Pokeballs. Because this place has a shop, I do believe. It'd be weird if it didn't. Oh, it doesn't look like this place has a shop. Or no, is it down there? Is it downstairs? I'm dumb. Yep, it's down here. For some reason, I didn't think to look here. <laughs> when it comes to legendaries, always begin with... Well, oh, don't, 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 definitely don't need more of you. More walk-around potions. Just because we can. T sure, we have max potions, but at this point, Hyper still does what I need it to do. I'll just grab a bit more. And that's it. Now off to you, the Pokemon. Uh, do you have any specials? S oh, oh, wait, no. I saw Snowmail and thought that was it. More quick balls. And more timer balls. Quick balls are basically just there for one or two initial throws. And then higgledy piggledy. <laughs> Now's not the time to ride your boke and uh, your boke, your bike in winter. How am I even surviving in this snow? Yeah, I have no idea how to activate the Cresselia event. I don't, I, I don't think I even knew Cresselia was in this game, unless it literally is an event that you need to activate it like Darkrai, I believe. More than likely, I'll just catch the Lake Trio... Bash down Sunny Shore. And then... Depending on things. Hello, Yuxi. <laughs> For some reason, Mesprit's the one that makes me want to do it. You have a scarf. Also, <laughs> Cresselia's in Candlelight. Ah. I guess I'll try to paralyze you with some sparks. I should have used my quick ball immediately. I'm a fool. At least please get paralyzed from this. Dang it. But I shall attempt a quick ball. For the memes! Hey, this one kind of matches your colors. You want to get in it and be in it forever? It's very cool and shit. Fuck. How dare you make Amp sleepy. Well, I'll, I'll continue to use Spark to try and get a para paralysis on you. Alright, now I'm just going to... Got hit by the future attack. Probably raises all its stuff. Please paralyze! No paralyze for me. Go Ultra Ball. Damn it. Fine then, would you care for a Pokeball? If it even twitched once, I would have found that funny. All right, we'll heal. Keep raising your defense, I guess. Hmm. I have a net ball. You want to be in a net ball? It's like I threw a net at you. You want to be in there? No, you don't. Uh, how about a great ball? 
You want to be in a great ball? It's pretty great, isn't it? No, you don't like it. It's, it's, things won't go higher. Uh, how about a timer ball? We've been here for a bit. This is why Thunder Wave is always helpful. True. Damn it, it didn't want it. Let's see. How about Ultra Ball? And the next we'll try the Nest Ball. Maybe he wants to be a bird? Damn it. Nest Ball. You want to be a bird? You can roost in the trees. Fly, fly, fly away. Damn it. Quick ball for the memes. <laughs> Maybe it'll magically work as just like a fluke of luck. Damn it. I think it would have been funny. Why don't you think it would be funny, Muxy? Another timer ball. It looks cool. You bounced once. Bounced twice. Bounced thrice! Well, at least we know the ball we need to spam now. So it did raise its, like, stuff a lot. So I'm gonna save state and see if I can sneak in one more spark. Or will that kill? It'll probably kill. It raised its defensive stuff a lot. Not bet kill. Sadness. Then another fast ball. Not fast ball, dang it, timer ball. Timer ball, because it's time to stop. Two, three, damn it. <laughs> sure, use yawn. I hope that's not a sign that you're getting close to running out of power points. One, two, Damn it! Go, timer ball, save me! One, two, three! Ha ha! Yuxi has been caught! Yuxi's data was added to the Pokedex. You, when Yuxi flew, people gained the ability to solve problems. It was the birth of knowledge. And let me acquire my funny aha, only I get it reference. Because I think that would be funny. All this effort just to remember, like, my very specific... Blah, blah, blah. We just try to... Because I'm very blig, blig, blig. Mesbert appeared. I chucked a heel ball for a giggle. It worked. Of course it would. Blah. My brain is mush right now. And I'm just trying to think of a name. And I do believe I did with E. Bah. All this effort for a thing that nobody else other than me will get. All of this for my reference. It's my reference. <laughs> and you 
shall be Mispy. Just double check the name is correct. Yes. This is my funny aha reference. Mine. And now... Hmm. I do believe that... Mesprit is... Oh, nope. Basically, I just need to fly around until... Mesprit gets to, like, a good place for me to try and catch. But while we're here, we can heal up our Pokémon. I think the only downside to, like, walking towards where Mesprit is is that... Hmm. Well, first, let's see. Where are you going? You're just sticking around that one area. How dare you. Then I'll fly to Florama Town and force you to move! And of course you move far, far away. Because I basically just need to fly around enough... ...that... ...Mesprit might move in my direction. And that I don't have to... Like, bother with. Damn you. Because I don't want to deal with Coronet. Then again, it's just walking from one side to another, so it wouldn't be bad. And I can always use repels, I suppose. Wait, while I'm here, really should stock up on the balls. Quick balls and timer balls. Then again, always have. Oh, that's mean that you. D Why can't they just have all the balls be in one place? Oh, well, they're specialty balls. Fuck off. You're supposed to be a convenience store, you bitch. Fine, we're gonna go all the way up here for our bloody quick and timer balls. Well, not even... I guess we don't really need timer balls anymore. Until, like, Giratina and uh, Palkia. So it's just quick balls. Because I'm going to be able to use, like, one quick ball at a time. Alright, let's land in Oraberg. And see where you go. Ah, you're nearby! Huh. Uh, Dialga and Palkia, you said Giratina. I don't think I did. But it's always possible. They all they kind of share like letters. Let me guess you're gonna bounce all around once I enter the city, aren't you? Ah, you're going back to your lake, are you? You know, it'd be cool if, like, the Mesprit hunting minigame gets easier if you catch the other two. I think that'd be neat. Darn you. It's probably the worst place to hunt you. Darn you. Because, like, <laughs> you're just flying about the town. Just flying about the town, yes. Which means that you will finally come into my graces at the beach. Which means, uh, 
Will you just be found surfing about? Alright, we shall make a save state just cause. Here you are. I'm gonna try and get some paralysis on you, maybe. Uh, but at the same time, quick fall funny funnies. But quick falls don't seem to work well. But at the same time, if I damage you and paralyze you, then the quick falls will be even better. Paralyze them! And you fled. But at least I did damage. Damn it, fish, I don't give a fuck. Nobody cares about you. You wait for all that time for Mesprit to show up and then you just like, he diddly he. I exist. Go to Heart Home and see where you go next. Basically fly around until she's in a good place for me to hunt. Hmm. Uh, it's mostly just the stuff like getting through past... Uh, like this area is a little annoying to traverse. We'll go to fly to Orberg. You need blocker mean look at your Murkrow. She's gonna run. I know. I'm going to blast her and then to throw a bunch of quick balls at her for funnies. And then, if it's still a major pain, I'll go grab a Murkrow. Because it's about dealing damage, hoping for paralysis. And then throwing a bunch of quick balls. <laughs> Wait, now that I have the lake trio and my master ball, time to follow Oak's advice and use a master ball on a tentacool. The only way to use a master ball. Yes, keep going down so I can catch you. Bitch, get out of my way. You walk in my way when I'm trying to walk here? I am walking here. Mesprit really likes to just wander around a city. And just flew way away. That kind of breaks it. I think that's a little annoying as a mechanic that, like, it can just fly away all the way across. How dare you. gonna stay I don't think there's like much in the way of things getting in my way to the next city dang it <laughs> back and forth back and forth we both go back and forth Yes. You're gonna get to the city again, and we're gonna do the city dance. And you're gonna be annoying, aren't you? We're gonna do the city dance again, aren't we? Hey, how about you go up? Oh, I know, because that's just, like, one route, so... Probably gonna move. Oh, are you actually gonna be here? Hey, you're actually here, I think. Once again, another... Save state. 
Hello, hello. We are inefficiently hunting Mesprit for giggles. We're gonna use Spark again, hope for paralysis. And then from there, we're probably just gonna throw Quick Balls each turn. Personally, I think paralysis should make it incapable of running, but eh, what do I know? Oh, hey, paralysis, ha ha! Perfect! And now you're just gonna teleport away. No way we're gonna hunt you up there in the mountains. And again, we'll fly to Auraburg. Aha, yes! Perfect! I predicted your movements, Mesprit. And now I will quickball you to death. Even though quickballs are probably terrible and you'll never be caught by them. And of course you're hanging about this city. Just so you can, like, jump around everywhere. I wonder if paralysis has, like, any effect on its movement. That would be, like, a cool mechanic. Like, ooh, you paralyzed him. Hmm, wait. I don't think I surfed there. I wanna. I wanna see what happens when I surf there. Even though there's probably really no point. My brain, <laughs> the intrusive thoughts are just like, Hey, go, go check out that lake. Hey, go check out that lake. And we're gonna check out that lake. Or like pond, really. And of course, immediately water type. Psyduck, why? <laughs> you juked it, then it juked you. That is that is basically how it goes with Mesprit. At least it's like the only main legendary that seems to be doing this. Yeah. Really, in the future, I should just fly to the town that Mesprit is currently hanging around because that one has all the paths around it. And remember, everybody, while you hunt <laughs> Mesprit inefficiently, remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> the Ravaged Path. I forget, did I even do anything with the Ravaged Path? I, I hardly remember you. You were like 30 hours ago. <laughs> Roaming Pokemon are very funny. They can be funny, and they can be annoying. They can be an experience. Yeah, I think you went to the perfect direction for me to catch you. Maybe? I think you're around here. Yes, you are. Probably one of my favorite mechanics. I'm not sure if that's sarcasm or not. Well, if you know what time it is. Quick ball! Please. Damn it. And now you run. So yeah, I think I'm just going to constantly fly to Floralma and see if I can get it to spawn on top of one of the routes around Floralma. Even though, more than likely, it probably has a mechanic where it, like, ha has, like, a certain number of routes away from you. A while ago, I somewhat liked it. Now I feel mostly neutral. That seems fair. Like, it can be an interesting mechanic, but only if it isn't too terrible. Then again, here I am, refusing to actually do the proper methods with, like, a uh, mean look or anything else that stops Pokemon from running, because I just want to do it my way. Frank Sinatra.
Mostly because it's a thing to do. Oh, hey, he's right here. That mean look is for wimps. It's for meanies. Why didn't you make a safe state during that battle? Because it's like, I'm fairly certain that like, well, that's also true. After this one, if it doesn't go our way, we can just make a safe state and <laughs> do it that way. A little bit against the, like, intent of the mechanic, but still. And of course it would. And what? Game? How dare you. I turned in the bush. So yeah, next time we'll make a safe state while we're right on top of them. And I don't know, see about that. Again, while I do have the Master Ball, eh, I'll just uh, fly to Floroma again. Just reset your place until you're around me, which you literally are. Thank you. Fucker. Double fucker. <laughs> what if I could just run between this fence post to get you to spawn on me again? Are you just going to avoid Floroma Town forever? I know you are long for the Floroma. Fine. It is kind of funny that just walking back and forth between the posts makes it happen. And on the other side of Mount Coronet. We'll get you to spawn in a good location one of these days. Unless you know we're just going up and down. The Mespert AI, it's learning. In Pokemon Platinum, we specifically gave Mesprit the AI to learn. Oh, hey, you're here. You want to come towards me? Damn it, you ran further away. But luckily, this is a not bad time to hunt you down. Unless you do the super duper fly away move, which is mean. And then when we're on top of you, we'll make a save state and then probably just throw a bunch of uh, quick balls at you. Nobody cares, Psyduck. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, Psyduck. You failed to make the cut, and that's why you're not a mascot for the Let's Go games. Of course, it's the last bushel. Oh no, a level 4 Starling. Whatever will I do? Why'd you fly all the way over there, you whore? And you're back there again. Gotta speed through. Wurmple? Wurmple exists? Why have I not ran into a Wurmple up until now? What? Wurmple exists? Wurmple is real! I seriously didn't know that Wurmple was, like, there. I don't know why. I don't think I ran into any of the worm Pokemon. Either that, or it's been super duper long. Since I have. Like, maybe I ran into, like, Cascoon and stuff in the forest, but it's been so long, I completely forgot that it exists. It's been so long, and we just haven't ran into it <laughs> at all. Well, safe state away. We're going to quick ball you to death, Mesprit. Listen, you're paralyzed. You're very weak. Quick ball. Damn it. And you're immediately going to run away. Personally, I think run away should be a move for these Pokemon. So that... When they have, try to run away, they can be paralyzed. <laughs> Mesprit, because we're playing hide and seek, Neon. Do you know? Uh, do you not know how? To, do you not like hide and seek? Well, it is when you kind of cheat and you fly away five million years into the future. I'll throw. You know what? Funny, aha! I throw timer ball. We'll reverse time itself to catch you. 
Oh man, that would have been hilarious. That would have been hilarious, man. It it worked better than the quick ball has up till now. <laughs> The quick ball has barely made it budge. The timer ball on turn one. One, two, damn it. Sure, this is unsportsmanlike. Well, then again, it's not even really hide and seek. It's hide, seek, and then I run away. But you're like, what even is the point of the quick ball if it's not really that effective? Then again, it's against a legendary that has probably a low capture rate. As seen there. Come fight me. You know what? I feel like throwing another timer ball. Because then the funny ahas will come. One. Dang it. Maybe we should try a different patch of grass. Maybe that will spawn a meth spritz that wants to be caught. <laughs> Quick ball! Damn it. We'll go over to this grass! Really, if anything, safe states are the perfect way to play this game, because time... I'm a master of time! Get in my quick ball! Do? Dang it. It's stuck on doing two. Hmm. Maybe this bushel of grass mesprit will enjoy Timer Ball. The sad thing is, Timer Ball does seem to, like, have similar catch chances to the Quick Ball. Use an item in Overworld? Maybe. Quick Ball! It's just that the jiggles have been different, so I'm not sure if that matters any. One. Damn it. Hmm. I have rare candies. I guess I can throw one at one of my weaklings. Plus, I don't think the RNG actually activates until, like, we actually get in there. Because, like, once we're actually in the fight, then the RNG is probably set in stone. Plus, RNG manipulation is weird with, like, walking around different ways, which ways affects it. Oh, you want to work? Yeah! The power of rare candy has saved the day! Mesprit's data was added to the Pokedex. When Mesprit flew, people learned the joy and sadness of living. It was the birth of emotions. And I, <laughs> through the power of save scumming, I didn't have to <laughs> use my diddly D. Mime, b ba 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 I'm trying to think. Hmm, da-da-da, my brain. My master ball. My master ball. The master ball is the way it goes. And to round out the reference of the lake trio that only I will get. We call you 
Dimitri. Well, let me check to make sure I actually spelled it right, because I'm dumb with names. Language is evil sometimes. Dimitri. And <laughs> once again, that like happens every single time. Every single time I fight a Mesprit, I tr turn and immediately get attacked by a level four Star Lady. It's like, what about me? You know what? Die. See, who needs to, like, mean look and stuff when you have save states? The ultimate Prima official guide that every Pokemon game encourages. Starly is the real mythical. Heal my Pokemon and... Oh, that actually rounded it out. Three hours catching the three... Uh, well... Two hours spent beating up Cyrus, and then the remaining hour to get to three hours catching the three lake Pokemon. Of which I do believe that rounds out the episode perfectly. Then next time, we can go beat down Sunny Shore and take on the diddly D bastarding bitch wave where I have to use Waterfall to get to the Elite Four. Saving a lot of data. Jesus Christ, you got three legendaries? Again, like, nobody's gonna get my Lake Trio reference. None, nobody at all. Unless they do, like, super, super digging, maybe. But yeah, this was a fulfilled episode, I do say. We caught four legendaries in this episode. Giratina, Mesprit, Yuxi, and Azelf. Or Morgan... Dimitri, Mispy, and Gahi. And we just left Cyrus in the distortion world? <laughs> I heard Dimitri before. Yeah, because out, out of the three names I'm referencing, that one's actually a real name that's used in places. I doubt there's other Mispies and Gahis out there. <laughs> but... This is fun. We climbed Mount Coronet, beat up the, like, leaders of, uh... We never did fight Cro uh, Charon, though. He just existed. He was like, I'm an old man. <laughs> uh, we went in. I, I, I enjoyed the distortion world. The distortion world was interesting. Don't really know why the lake trio was like, hey, push these rocks in these holes. That was a little weird. But, yeah, we caught Giratina. Oddly enough, then again, it could have just been the safe state scumming. But, honestly, it felt like Giratina was the hardest to catch out of all of them. But yeah. I'll probably do some grinding on my own time. And then, next time, Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, we shall make our way to Victory Road. It's probably not Victory Road in this game. Then take down the Elite Four. And it will be an interesting time. So yeah, I'll do grinding, bring my team up to better levels. I might even super grind just because uh, evils of the world. But who knows? I'm not sure like what levels the Elite Four are. And what, it, for a moment I thought like, ooh, and what inevitably Barry will be. But no, Cynthia's the champion. <laughs> See y'all Wednesday at 5, yes. Once again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neoniceywings, with direct links and all the appropriate link places, like descriptions, bios, and the like on the various sites, it holds all the links to all the places that I do things, like edited YouTube content. Because I still want to make scripted YouTube videos, but brain is just bleh. And then, of course, we have uh, my streaming on Twitch and YouTube, as well as the recordings, the VODs of all these streams that I do, which can be found on the streaming YouTube. 
So if you want to watch my Mass Effect trilogy playthrough, Undertale, the various Pokemon mystery dungeons I've played, all that, diddly dee, all there in the link tree. As well as places for my art, like my little character in the corner, drawn by me. Other art can be found through the various websites, social medias, and art sites that I upload to. Once again, found in my link tree. And then my various like stories that I'm trying to write, they can be found through my link tree as well. And for the super duper kind, my Patreon, which I treat as a tip jar, can be found there as well. I was gonna say something, but then my brain just dropped it. Oh yeah, if things go well, we might be able to beat the game next stream, which means Gates to Infinity might very well be on the horizon, ladies and gentlemen. Huzzah. I still need to draw the Pokemon I'm going to be using for Gates to Infinity. Bleh. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.